Uh, I'm Sarah Critchley. I'm a obviously a CRM MVP, and I'm probably better known as CRM Cat. Um, and I'm a CRM consultant, a senior consultant with HDL. Awesome. So talk me through how you got started with business applications. Ooh, how I got started. So I originally actually started as a trainee QA tester in my career. So that was just uh, as I moved from being a travel agent. So I've got quite a lot of experience actually using uh, Dynamics 365 and using customer engagement applications. So that's very much kind of what I like to focus on in CRM to be honest, is the kind of customer service side of things because I actually was in that scenario, the call center scenario, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so I really do see the, the good value of uh, a decent application. Um, and then I kind of got very bored very quickly with manual testing um, and pretty much self taught myself CRM and, and went from there really. Great, great. If you weren't doing this, what would you be doing? Oh, oh I, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a very diverse person. I did actually originally want to be a nurse. Um, oh. Yeah, I, I actually did a, a BTEC application in care and I, I went and applied for social work as well. But um, yeah, I'll probably do journalism actually. It does actually really excite me doing journalism in like really kind of dangerous countries because I think the things like that would actually, it, it gives insight to, to the world of what's actually really going on rather than uh, capitalist newspapers and shit. Awesome. What excites you about business applications and dynamics? Oh, um, I love, I'm really getting into like Flow and Power Apps and CDS and stuff. That kind of stuff is really, really exciting. I know that it's probably not quite there yet in, in today's uh, today's date, but um, in terms of the vision, that is epic. And also the actual um, interoperability with Azure, because uh, obviously yep. Flow and Logic Apps are, are obviously the same, and uh, functions and stuff like that, it's absolutely epic. It's epic and really exciting. Cool, if you could, could go anywhere in the world today, where would it be? Oh, Iceland, because Marius was telling me how amazing um, kind of Scandinavia is, and someone on the plane was telling me how amazing Iceland is, and I really want to go there. So um, he did invite me to go and, and roll around with about 52 huskies at breakfast. So. Nice. Yeah. Nice. What's one bit of advice you'd give to people about Dynamics 365? Oh, one bit of advice. Um, just get started and stop being so intimidated by it. It's, it's really, really cool to kind of just get started. Anything's going to be hard to get started, um, and it could be just offer businesses such immense value with uh, with implementing it so yeah just get started there's loads of resources out there awesome on a scale of one to ten how weird are you that's dependent on the person asking that question normally but I'll probably say a ten a ten <laughs> 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 Sorry, <honest>. excellent <laughs> what's one myth about Dynamics 365 implementations uh, what's one myth oh um, I think the myth is that it's actually not software development when people when people forget that it's still software software development software methodologies and stuff like that it still needs to be approached like a proper software project just because it's a business application by Microsoft doesn't mean that you don't you know have proper project plans have proper actually think about what me methodology you're going to actually use which is kind of core software software consultancy and, and development really yeah good what are you not good at um stopping talking <laughs> What's great about being an MVP? Oh, um, meeting all you guys, um, meeting amazing, amazing people who are actually really, really driven, and actually getting getting more opportunities as an MVP to make more of a difference. Actually, that's one of the biggest things I've loved the past year.